So Minnesota has decided to pass a bill that would cut minimum wage for people who received tips. Oh, now interesting. Now, the Star Tribune reports that this measure, passed by, of course, the GOP-controlled state house last week, had some rollbacks to uh, basically try to help the hospitality industry make more money. Well, what's in this bill? Well, first, it would what it would do is that it would create a two-tiered minimum wage that critics rightly ref, uh, refer to as a quote-unquote tip penalty. A tip penalty. Well, what is that? Well, it's, it basically stipulates that restaurant owners would be able to pay an employee a lower wage if they made less than $4 an hour or at least $4 an hour in tips. So if you make more tips, they can take and lower their wage. Basically ensuring that people who are working make less money. But they already don't make enough money to survive. Look, there are some places that do make a lot more tips. Let's be honest. There are some places where you can make a lot of tips. But I'm pretty sure not every restaurant in Minnesota has that much of a clientele to where some of the workers will be able to actually pay their all of their bills based on tips and that lowered wage. You're essentially driving down your own costs at, of course, the cost of the employee. Now, that ain't right. Now, this is in response to a recent ra- uh, uh, increase in the minimum wage to about nine fifty an hour. That's coming, of course, uh, in 2016. According to Representative State Representative Tim Mahoney, he said, look, man, this is an attack. This is an attack on people who work for TIP, who work uh, in jobs that have uh, uh, tips as part of their wage. Quote, the message from this bill is that you're making too much money. It wants to keep people making $12 per hour rather than making $14 to $15 an hour. If you tried living on $30,000 per year in this state, you'd understand that a couple of thousand dollars per year makes a huge difference. It really, really does. And that's what people who are a little bit wealthier don't quite understand. Look, I don't even make thirty grand a year. That's pretty sad. Now, another provision would ban local municipalities and airports from raising the minimum wage above the state minimum wage. So if you wanted to, for example, do what SeaTac did in Seattle under the head of Kshama Swant to be able to raise the minimum wage to about $15 an hour in a city, in Minnesota, if this bill passes, you can't even do that. So basically, this is a big F you to workers, especially tipped workers, who don't always receive a solid wage. Sometimes they can make more money. Sometimes they make a lot less. It all depends on how generous the patrons are doing. And also, of course, how good the service is. Um, it's Once again, it, to me, it's why, just, why can't we pay people a living wage? Why can't corporations afford to pay people a minimum wage? I can understand a small business. I, I can get that. And I'd be okay with exceptions for smaller businesses that don't have a big profit margin. But when you're dealing with a place like McDonald's or even Applebee's, which is one of those sit-down restaurants where you would tip, I don't understand how they can't afford to pay a living wage for the people who work there. It's that whole thing of I don't get how a profitable corporation can't afford to pay someone who works 40 hours a week enough to be able to survive on their own without having to take government benefits. It's almost as if they, they're they using those government benefits, and I think they are, as a way to supplement their own wages, their own bottom lines. Oh, well, we can make more money for our executives if we make our workers have to get on state aid, and we'll just put it on the taxpayers, and also we'll put it on the customers in the form of tips, because if you make too much in tips, well, we can just lower your wage. It's ridiculous. Once again, that, that, that's just indicative of our anti-worker uh, mindset nowadays in America. And it really is just sad. Pair workers have been a living wage.